And the man who really got this thing rolling in the last couple of months, you might have seen him on, oh, I don't know, virtually every national television talk show in the country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man behind Arizona's toughest new law. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary of State candidate Chris Kobach. I'd like to see a president who recognizes that one of the things that draws people to America from all over the world is the rule of law. I'd like to see a president who recognizes that that's what we have to preserve, the rule of law and the rule of the United States Constitution, because if we lose that, then we lose what makes America such an attractive place in the first place. That rule of law, you mentioned it out there, it, mm -hmm. it drives Chris Kobach? Yeah, no, that is, a, that is definitely a driving notion. I mean, it, it's what drives me in the field of immigration. I mean, look, we, can, we are the most generous country in the world when it comes to giving uh, benefits and giving visas and giving green cards. There's no other country on the planet that is as generous as the United States in receiving refugees, in giving a, a, a pass to come into this country legally. I'd like to see an America where uh, U.S. taxpayer dollars aren't given to reward people for breaking the law. We are a generous country, we should remain a generous country, but let's at least have some laws so that we can control uh, who gets the benefit, who doesn't get the benefit, the conditions under which a person enters this country. I'd like to see a president who recognizes that if you have 10% unemployment, the way to create a job for an American tomorrow is to deport an illegal alien today. If um, we find that the unemployed Americans are having a really hard time uh, getting jobs, that might be a good reason to dial down the uh, number of, uh, of legal visas and green cards for that year so that Americans can get those jobs and then dial it back up later. I'd like to see a president who recognizes that uh, a country without secure borders is not a country at all. I mean, a country that actually controls its immigration can actually yield greater benefits for its own citizens. In short, I'd like to see an America that looks a lot more like the state of Arizona. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for standing up for the rule of law. Thank you for uh, getting ready to take our country back on November 2nd.